All right, so you guys are gonna use this book today. You're actually gonna do this page um, by yourself or with an adult today. But right now, I'm gonna read you our A story. So each time when we do one of our ABC book pages, we're also gonna read a new story. Last time, Mrs. Hall read you the story about the little child who had a box, right? This time, we're just gonna read a fun story that has to do with the letter. So our letter is A, and our story is called The Adventures of Abby Alligator. Now, A makes the sound ah, ah, like adventures ah, ah, abby ah, ah, alligator so we're gonna listen for words that begin with the sound ah abby alligator is ready to work what will abby do abby wants to be an acrobat but she's afraid of falling abby wants to be an artist but she can only paint apples. Abby wants to be an animal doctor, but she's allergic to aardvarks and she says, ah, 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 choo. Abby wants to be an astronaut, but she meets an angry alien. A can also make the sound A, like an A, A, alien. Abby wants to be an actor, but she's awful. An actor is somebody who is in a movie or a show or a play and she says, uh-oh, I forgot what I'm gonna say. That's no good. Abby can't think of any other jobs. Then Abby has an amazing idea. I'll be an author, says Abby. Abby Alligator writes all about her adventures as an acrobat, an artist, an animal doctor, an astronaut, and an actor. Being an author is awesome. So this page, you're gonna find things that start with the sound A or A. Ah. So we've got Abby, Alligator, Apple, Acorn, Aardvark, astronaut, artist, ant, lots of things. It says A is for alligator and acorns on trees. A is for achoo, when you sneeze. A is for apples baked in a pie. A is for airplane up in the sky. Hooray for A, big and small, the most awesome, amazing letter of all. So, on your book today, what you're going to do is you're going to have to think of some things that start with either the sound a, ah, a, ah, a, ah, or a, 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 all right? And we're going to work on the second A page. So what you're going to do is you're going to think of the word. Mommy or daddy is going to write the word for you, maybe with a yellow marker, you're gonna trace it, and then you're gonna write it by yourself, all right? So I'm gonna do an example. So let's say you're at home, and you wanna draw an ah, ah, apple. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have mommy or daddy write the word for you with a yellow marker. They're gonna write it on this line because mommies and daddies know how to spell the words. We're still learning how to do that. So they wrote for you apple, A-P-P-L-E. -P -P -E. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come along with your pencil and you're gonna trace the word apple. And then you're gonna write the word apple by yourself. All right. And then you're gonna draw a picture of an apple. So I kind of did the first one with you just to show you how to do it. You can do apple right here if you'd like, 
or you can come up with your own word, but you're gonna come up with your own words for the bottom two. Mommies and daddies are gonna trace. Write it for you on the first line with yellow. You're going to trace it, and then you're gonna write it yourself, all right? Normally, if we were at school, we'd come up with the words together and then you would write them two times, but we have to do it a little bit differently since we're not at school, okay?